start off. Go ahead, Eric, please. But you obviously get the the huge game offensively out of Giannis, but Drew and Chris struggle. What did you see that led to their struggles tonight? Um, you know, you always give credit to the defense. Um, you know, those guys, uh, you know, do a good job. And um, there's probably a few looks um, that, um, you know, I think that they got to go in. You know, when you're playing against a good defensive team, you get a good clean one. Um, Drew, Drew was getting to the paint a lot. I liked his aggressiveness. So, um, you know, I think we, we need all three of those guys. And, um, you know, I think they just keep working. They'll come good. And then defensively with Paul and Booker, what did you see tonight? It felt like they were still getting loose and kind of getting to their spots. I mean, I, you know, we'll look at the film. I thought, you know, the, uh, you know, Drew and, and his uh, pressure and um, being up. And, um, you know, I think it'll be like, you know, every game, there'll be some good stuff. There'll be, um, you know, some ones where they're hitting tough shots. Um, so we just got to keep making it tough on them. Back right to Jim. Go ahead, please. Um, I guess you speak a little bit to, to I guess, what Giannis tried to do or did do there in the third quarter. I think 13 straight points for the team to kind of cut that deficit. And then I guess after that, you, you probably needed somebody to, to make some shots after. So what did you kind of see as, as he kind of took over a little bit offensively, but then obviously, you know couldn't, couldn't quite sustain it? No, I mean, you know, I think it's a six-point game with four and a half minutes to go. Um, you know, I think we had a, an open wing three, you know, that had cut it to three. And um, I, I think a couple of, you know, offensive boards, um, you know, we couldn't we couldn't get that rebound that we needed. So I thought the group, you know, um, after being down 15, 16, whatever it was, you know, Giannis took a big load. And we were right there uh, with four and a half to go, um, you know, so – I think, you know, we just got to go home, um, you know, look at look at the film again tonight and just, you know, keep working to uh, to get better against this group. Second row on the left to Tim. Mike, you, you mentioned those uh, those rebounds in the fourth quarter. Obviously, you went small to kind of combat them. Is that part of the calculus in terms of deciding whether to go small and instead of having Brooke on the court when you put yourself in position to maybe give up some of those? Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's the great part about the playoffs, um, you know, Sometimes you need to play smaller, um, more shooting, um, things of that nature. And, um, you know, it, it can hurt you in other areas. It's, it's like that give and take game. And, um, you know, I thought, I thought Brooke had good minutes. I thought Brooke helped us. Um, but that small group, you know, we, we've had to do it in other series and other games. They've got to rebound and, you know, everybody's got to participate. So, um, you got to be able to do both. You guys talked about wanting to limit them in transition and at the line. You're able to do that, but then they get a little loose on from three, get 23s. Was there anything that you guys broke down at in that respect, or was that more of what they were doing offensively? Um, you know, a little bit of both. I think, uh, you know, their their ability to kind of, you know, make the pass kind of on time, on target. Um, you know, uh, Paul and Booker attract a lot of attention, and, um, you know, particularly in the first half, you um, you know, I think they made us pay a little bit for that, for that extra attention on them. Bridges hit some shots. Crowder hit some shots. You know, they make 23s tonight. Um, so I think, um, you know, and then they made some tough ones too. Um, but I think, you know, their ability to attract a little bit of attention and then make the pass and guys make shots, um, you know, hopefully that's an area where we can improve. To the row on the right, go ahead. Uh, Bud, I think Giannis played 40 minutes tonight. Is there any limit? to the number of minutes he can play right now? And, and for you personally, is it difficult to lean on him as much as you have to right now considering the injury he's playing with? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think, um, you know, there's feedback between, you know, him and myself and, and the sports performance. And, um, you know, I think he's in a pretty good place. Obviously, um, conditioning-wise, it's, you know, to, to take, you know, first of all, to have the injury and then have, you know, five days, six days, whatever it was before game one. Um, you know, but I, he wa he wants to be out there. It's it's hard to, but I, I think he he understands. You know, and I think he'll be better going into Game Three. His conditioning, um, everything. So um, I think he wants us to lean on him hard. He he wants um, as much responsibility as we can give him, and uh, that's part of what makes him great. Uh, and just a quick follow: physically, is there anything you feel like is different to his game right now, or are you seeing he's able to do all the same things? Yeah, I would say pretty much, uh, you know, the norm, um, you know, which is which is very good and very special. So, um, you know, we, we just need him to keep pushing. Second row on the right to Laurie. 
I wanted to go back to Drew. You really don't have a lot of time for practice and rest, so do you talk to him about shot selection, go inside constantly to get things rolling? And I know, secondly, you like to play free, but and every team wants to get a lead, and, and so do you maybe have some more structure in the next game, set plays, things like that, just to get him rolling? Or what do you do if it's not those things? Yeah, no, I mean, I think Drew, um, you know, got some good looks. I actually think, he, you know, there's some opportunities where he can be even more aggressive. He's got to be aggressive from the three-point line. He's got to be aggressive getting to the paint, and he was. Um, and so, you know, are there, you know, things we'll walk through and we'll talk about? Yeah, but at the end of the day, we've built our habits. Um, this group um, has done a lot of good things, and, you know, uh, we're going home. You know, it's it's we're, we're excited about our crowd. We're excited about being there. And we got to go play our game. Drew's got to play his game. He knows how to play. Um, he and I will talk, but it'll be more just keep being aggressive. And, um, you know, our spacing, I think, was better tonight. I think his opportunities were better. And I think we just got to keep doing that going into game three. Front row to Melissa. Hey, bud. Uh, there, there was a clip of Giannis being extremely vocal during a timeout. What did you think of just the intensity that he showed from literally tip off through the entire game? Yeah, no, he's impressive. You know, I think his leadership. He's always um, taking that on and I think growing there and, um, you know, he and Chris and, and Tuck and the timeouts, the group. I, I think, you know, there's a, there's a ton of togetherness and, and it's good. That's what you need. Uh, you're in a hostile environment. And so I, I just love the way Giannis talks to his teammates, um, even, you know, the, the other night when he was out, the connection. Um, and he's a great leader. Back row on the left. Yeah. Uh, Mike, obviously down 2-0 and you've trailed, you know, for most of both games. Uh, but then there were a couple of times you've been a couple possessions away. So, you know, how close do you think you are? Um, you know, what do you leave here feeling good about? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think both first quarters we've we've been pretty good or, you know, we've been in a good place. Um, the second quarter tonight stands out. They, the last four or five minutes of the second quarter, um, we're able to get some separation that I think hurt, and, and again in, in start of the third quarter. So, but I, I think you know defensively, um, I think there's some progress, some improvement, and we just got to keep working that end. And same thing offensively, um, you know, we just got to get better. We got to go home and and play good basketball. Set the road to Eric. Uh, you guys got it to five ninety three eighty eight, and then Giannis needed to come out. What was ailing him in that moment? Was that early fourth quarter? Like the, I think the ten or eleven minute mark of the fourth quarter. I, Maybe a little bit later, but yeah. Yeah, I, I think he he had a. Uh, I, I I probably shouldn't say anything, but I, I'm pretty certain it was a cramp or he felt a not not anything with the injury or anything. I think just a, a little bit of a cramping. Um, get some fluids in him. Um, just get him a little bit of a rest. Um, was what he was feeling at that point. If if I'm pretty sure we're talking about the same time. Any more questions?